Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is GK. Follow me on GK Zim. Today we are going to the farmers market here at Art Farm. The farmers market. So let's go and see you and have a look at what the farmers are doing here at Art Farm. And this is Art Farm along Harare Drive uh, near Mount Pleasant. It's a farm, it's a research farm. So let's go and see what the farmers are doing. It's a good after, yeah, sorry, good morning. And also it's hot here in Harare. I think the temperatures are blazing. Uh, it's really, really hot here in Zimbabwe at the moment. We are in summer, and our summer is hot, hot, hot. I think the temperatures are between 37 to 38 degrees Celsius. Let's go to the farmer's market. Please, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Road to 1,000 and <coughs> road to 10,000 as well. Subscribers. <coughs> Please, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Road to 1,000 subscribers and also 10,000. So let's go and see the exhibitors. So there are a lot of cars here parked, and uh, I think there is a good turnout of people here. Let's go and see what the farmers are doing. <clears throat> so looking for parking. Parking, parking. <clears throat> Let's hope we get parking, yeah? Let's look where there is a shed. As you can see, all these cars, the people have come here to the farmer's market and see. Let's go and see what's happening here with the farmer. Right, I think uh, we're gonna get parking. Yeah, nice parking here on the shed. It's hot here. Right, let's go and bring you content. Hey, we parked our Ashley today. Let's see how it goes. This is Art Farm. Solar energy projects, they're doing wonders. They've done a project at Gateway High School. They've put 100 kilowatt of solar energy at the school. These guys, you must support them. Huh? Are doing solar, solar energy, the way to go. These guys are doing projects here. They've done one big project at Gateway High School. They've put, I think, about uh, 100 kilowatt of solar energy. This is the entrance. Let's go and pay. Dollars for adults. Do we have five dollars? Sorry? And pensioners. Pensioners again. Mm. Wow. So we've got okay. two. I brought you change. Eh? Mm. So we've paid five dollars. So what are we getting here? A tag. Mm -hmm. tag. So you say pensioner, how much? Six. Three dollars. Three bucks. And also the children. Okay. Nice. Let's go and see what the farmers are doing. <coughs> so you do flowers, eh? And how much are these? Uh, this is the prices. 
all, the, all these are the prices. Yeah, wow, that's two dollars. Can you believe it? Two dollars, three dollars, six dollars. Wow. So a dollar, you're good to go. Please, guys, come and support them here at the farmers market. Eh? You gotta support them. Sushi on the go. <laughs> are you ready? These guys that do sushi in Zimbabwe, you guys in America, in England, please, especially you Zimbabweans, come and support them here. Yeah. Where are you guys situated? Arundel Village. Arundel Village. Village. You know, if you know Arundel Village is in Mount Pleasant. So, please come and support them. Huh? Me, Maki, Sushi. Yeah? Yeah. And how are your prices? Huh? Price is good. Here's a menu. Wow. Reasonable salmon six bucks for four pieces, eh? mm -hmm. and eight pieces nine dollars. Yeah, you guys, if you love sushi, you gotta visit these guys eh? in Mount Pleasant. And this is how they make it, eh? yes, that's how they make it. And uh, what type of sushi is that? That one is called the rock shrimp. The rock shrimp, yes, and that one is how much? That is eight pieces, and that is fourteen dollars. Fourteen dollars, it's yeah. all yours, eh? wow. You got, you got to support these guys. They are lovely. Cheers. Eh? Thanks, eh? Thanks, eh? Hey, come on. You know, it's a group of mothers with disabled children. Wow, wow, wow. Mm. I'm a YouTuber called GKZM here on YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, so, these guys here. Yeah. The company is called Batseranai. So what they do is they support disabled children. children huh? Yeah, we have children with disability. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah, the mothers are the ones who do like what we are doing. We make so, so the mothers, they do this yes. to support the disabled children. Yes. Please come and support them here at the farmer's market. Uh -huh. So what do you want to say to my subscribers? I'm going to talk to you children with work support. Meaning buying from us means supporting us. If wow. you buy a door, you have supported us. Thank you very much. Guys, in America, in England, in South Africa, in Australia, you gotta support these guys here. I'll put their numbers in front of my screen. I'll get the numbers, what we can order, and also probably they can use they can use any form of DHL to deliver these things, but Sir and I. So I'll put the numbers in front of my screen. Cheers, guys. See you in the next. Look at this art here. This one is 80 bucks. It's 165. Never fell. This is a bust. And this one says, For what? Yeah, my daughter does art too. Eh? Uh, she wrote. So he's gonna subscribe to my channel, GK Zim. So I'm putting my link. No? GK Zim. Zim, Zim. Let's search for the channel. There we are. Let's get it. No, 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 no. There we are. Right, that's me here. So let's subscribe. Boom. He's, he's already subscribed, so he's gonna see his video tonight <laughs> on YouTube. Wow. Thank you very much. Great man. I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna support you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Look at the art, guys. Huh? This is amazing. Huh? Look at that. Look at that. One forty-five, one sixty-five. That's the price. Huh? Yeah. Your name? Stanley, please support Stanley. Yeah? Cheers. See you in the next. <laughs> so these guys here, they do lunch box. This is a lunch box, eh? Lunch bags. Yeah. Lunch bags, eh? Wow, wow. And these are called funny bags. Funny? 
25. 15 dollars. Is that 25? Huh? Yeah. What else, guys, do you do? We also have maids uniforms. Oh, maids uniform. How much are they? 20 dollars each. 20 bucks? Yeah, from small to large. Wow. Including the apron and the headscarf. 100% cotton. 100% cotton? Yes. It's nice, huh? Wow. So, where are you guys situated? We have a shop in Campinza. Campinza? Yes. Yeah. 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 Campinza? Yes. How's business? It's okay. <laughs> so, what I want to do is uh, what's the name of the shop? And the cup? Purchase Galo. Galo. Yes. So, guys who are watching in England, in South Africa, in Australia, and Namibia in Zimbabwe and a lot of you Zimbabweans in South Africa please support Patches Galo. Galo I'll put yes. their link in front of my screen so what do you want to say to my subscribers before I go <laughs> I don't know <laughs> well, please come and support us please come and support us and come and buy are you on yeah. any social media platforms uh, Facebook Instagram yeah, and we have our number. We can give you our card. Support them, huh? I'm getting the card. Cheers. See you in the next. Look at the art which is here. Thank you. And you know these things, guys, called majanji. Majanji. These are majanji. Come take majanji. We call this thing majanje. Do you know where they are found? In the bush and they are test nice. Let me test one. So I'm testing majanje. We find them in the bush. Where do you find this? Uh, Goromons. In Goromons, yeah, they are plenty. Yeah, they are plenty there. Where, where else can you get this in Zimbabwe? Ah, everywhere. Weza, Nyanga. In Weza, in Nyanga, you get this. And normally they come out in November. Yeah, yeah. When it is water. When it is hot and we are. That's the, that's the season, season for Majanja. For Majanja. I know you, lots of guys uh, who are Zimbabweans who live in England, in Australia, in Germany, and in the United States. You know these things here. Yeah, they taste quite nice. They're called Majanja. In English, what are they called? Uh, what do they call in Majanja? What do they call this in, in English? Majanja. I think it's Majanje. I'll find out. <laughs> Here in Zimbabwe, we call it Majanje. I don't know whether Southern Africa have got this. In Zambia, do you have this? In Malawi, do you have this? In South Africa, do you have this? In Botswana, do you have Majanje? Please comment. Just write a comment there. We'll see you. See you the next. I'm enjoying Majanje. G-K-A-Y-Z. GKI Do you know this thing is called Zizi in Shona? Ah well. What do the Shona guys say? They say bad things about this. What do they say? Say Danze Urumuroi. If you keep a ZZ an owl, wouldn't you? But it's not the case. You know, this owl, do you know what it does? It actually helps the ecosystem by picking up rabbits and uh, what you call uh, what you call those things that uh, get into the house? Huh? rabbits. Hmm? These are good for Makonzo or rats. Wow. Uh, Cheers. Uh, the farmer's market here in uh, Mount Pleasant at mm -hmm. Farm, okay. there's a guy called Albert Mubati. He does that. This is the main. Hi guys, how's it Can you showcase <laughs> your product to the world, Albert? And what's this? Oh, that's a good approach. Um, so, in, in most of my works, in my artworks rather, I mostly prefer to depict the beauty of nature, the calm yeah. side, the more chilled side. Yeah. So, if you see, because I mean, I can depict the, the brutal side of nature, because 
I think, in a way, it sort of depicts my personality as a person, like who I am. So, and in most cases, I also try to tell the stories, like tell my story and the stories of those around me. Throughout. Art, exactly. Wow. Art. So, wow. So, do you always... draw this or you capture them on uh, Google or? Uh... Well, I actually draw. <laughs> I you draw. draw, them, yeah, draw them. So this is your this your. Is pencil art this is a pencil art from exactly. your hands, from exactly. these hands here. <laughs> wow, they are blessed. Yeah? <laughs> Thanks. Really and this one, the leopard. And you did this piece of art here. Okay, so this one there's actually a nice story uh, on this one. Like, like every year, I always have a. Uh, um, I put aside a certain month way I drew an artwork without the pressure of selling it or, or anything where I just take a full month of just drawing one artwork just to wow. see how far I've, I've come wow. and how far I've gone so this was the artwork for, for this month it took me around um, I would say around 150 hours wow like 100, 150 hours 150 hours yeah. so uh, that's I, how many days well I don't well the way I measure them because mm. it depends on the inspiration of the day yeah. so sometimes I would say I'll be working like five hours a day and then it just go on and chill. Sometimes I can have the inspiration of like work like all night for wow. like ten hours. So wow. I use uh, a, a, I would say funny or interesting method to to measure at the time. Wow! Like I put in, I put a music playlist. Wow! And just just see when the mu when the playlist is over, just see like oh this was a five hour playlist. So I've been working for like five hours. So when I'm leaving the room or when I'm doing something else, I just pause the music, then resume when I'm working. And so how, how much is that piece of art? This one locally I'm selling for like um, 800 bucks. That's Guys, local, yeah, yeah. this is 800 bucks. Yeah, so on Facebook, on Facebook I've been So you're on all social media platforms? Yeah, on social media platforms. Okay, what's your handle? Um, it's Albert Mubata, just type Albert. Albert Mubata. Mubata. Yeah, M-U-B-A-T-S-A. So Facebook you're there, Instagram you're there. What else again? Yeah. Twitter, you're there. Yeah, I'm also on, on YouTube. Right. I've been posting YouTube tutorials for, but it's been a while now. Wow. But I've been posting time lapses very soon. <laughs> wow, please support him. I'll put his uh, numbers in front of this screen. Support Albert Mubasa. Thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate it. That's his work. <laughs> This is a nice Hi. piece of art, eh? Thanks. It's a table, eh? Yeah. How much is it? Six fifty. Wow. Six fifty? Yeah. Look at that. So can I take this? Yeah. So you got all your contact details here? Yeah? Exactly. <coughs> so we are. They're in the Edfield, eh? In the Edfield. Wow, that's nice, huh? Thanks. So if you know this yeah. is a piece of art, yeah. we call this flame lily. Yeah. It's got significance in Zimbabwe. Yeah, this is this, the, this is what what you call? I mean, what significance does it have? This is the this is the um, national flower. Wow, yeah. so you guys, you know, this is the national flower in Zimbabwe. It's called yeah. Flem Lily. If you go to Dombo Shower, you can find these, huh? Yeah, in the bush. In the bush. Wow. You know, we grow up tired with sadness as well. You know, this guy is telling me to, when he was growing up, they used to get these in the yeah, bush yeah. and then fight. And, and they fight, fight them each other. Yeah. Wow. You know, you could you put one together and then there's this thing that... They you know, fight? Yeah, they fight. Ah, this is nice, huh? Yeah. <laughs> A lot of significance about this flower here, flame lily. <laughs> got beautiful stuff here. Thank you. I don't see you in Zambia. I don't see you in Zambia. My table cloth. Okay, table cloth, huh? So she does flowers, huh? Yeah, Mainly, yeah. Huh? So you see, this art here is done by Della Solomon. Wow, wow, this is beautiful. This is a buffalo. 
since I was about 13, I asked my mom for some paints. She went down south and I asked her for some paints. Wow. And she came back with red, yellow and blue. Wow. <laughs> and then I used to paint on hardboard. Wow. Hardboard. Wow. And yeah, it's from, from him. Just, but my grandfather was a painting and my one aunt is a good painter. Wow. wow. So I think sometimes it's in your genes. You That's know, right. You That's just, right. And yeah. my mom was artistic. She didn't paint, but she was artistic. She wow. Just, she just, that's oh, nice. Are you going to go zip line? Oh no! <laughs> it goes so quickly. I, I was asking your, yeah. I was yeah. asking your son, do you draw his own? He said, ah, no, no, it's not in me. <laughs> he likes to do yeah. the, the gym and the gym, yeah. yeah. He's, he's a kid yeah, but this yeah. is nice, huh? Yeah. So who do you sell it to? Um, I sell it to mostly foreigners. Oh really? Yeah. Are you on social media I'm, platform? I'm on Instagram. Wow. Yeah. So what, what I want to do is I'll put the link. For Della in yeah. front of my screen. Okay. You guys, you must support her. Yeah? She's doing wonders here. Yeah? Oh, Shane, thank you. Wow, thank look you. at that. This is yeah. beautiful. Where do you go? I lived in the bush. Oh, my husband Della is building. Della Solomon. Yeah. He was ah, Della, she's telling me that she draws yeah. this. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You do this on your own? Yeah, everything is handmade. Wow. Wow. Or we can send you like a nice picture. Yeah. For an online store. Yeah, I'll give you my handle then, my phone number. Yeah, I'll just send you. Oh, oh, what's the name of your jewelry? Sorry? Eileen M. Eileen. Okay. Let me do let me do a small video. So I'm here at Eileen Jewelry. And uh, this woman she's doing amazing stuff here. Yeah? Um, doing earrings. Uh, what else again are you doing? Earrings, necklaces. Necklaces. What's that? Wow, so she, are you on social media? Eh? That's the online store. Wow. Instagram, Facebook. That's the online store handle. Find us on Instagram. Instagram as well. Wow, it's nice, huh? Please, guys, support this woman that you see here. What's your name again? Sorry? Eileen. Support her. I'll put the numbers and uh, social media platform in front of my screen. She's doing amazing here in Zem. And she is doing this on her own. So you got a factory? Wow, handcraft. Can you believe this is, these are all handcraft? Handcrafted, eh? That's nice. So if you're in Africa, this is what we do in Africa. Hello, how are you? So these are African products. When, if you're watching them from England, this is how we do it in Africa. We use reeds, reeds, eh? to make what, what do you call this? Ilala. And uh, what do you? Kurara. Murara. Murara. So what do you? I mean, uh, the products are used for what? For deco. For deco. Yes. Wow, that's nice, huh? And all these are deco, yes. like a hari in Shona. Where are you guys situated? Mavugo. These are flower pots, huh? So this is how we do it in Africa. You guys, in Africa we are innovative. We do all sorts of wonders here. Cheers, see you in the next. Hello, how are you? How are you? It's called Tribe. Cold African. Cold African. Yes. I know a lot of Europeans, they want to watch this on YouTube. Huh? They do. <laughs> <laughs> wow, 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 this is nice, huh? Are you on social media platform? Yes, yes. we are. Tribe Cold Africa. Tribe Cold Africa. Do you have like Instagram that we can just send? I'll Instagram? give you. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you. I'll give you. Yeah. Please, guys, support these guys here. Yeah, they're doing wonders here in Zimbabwe. Thank you. So, what do you call this that you're making here? Yeah? This. The clothes. But yeah. The African print clothes. Wow. Yeah. Handcrafted. Yes, 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 yes. It's nice, huh? Yes. These ladies are innovative. Please support them. <laughs> Thank you Cheers. so See much. See you in the next. So, it's getting hot here in Zimbabwe. We're about to get ice cream. And there is an interesting ice cream. And the lovely ice cream called Monster Mouse in Zim. Can I have a look at it? Wow. We're getting most Monster from Dairy Boat. Yeah. This ice cream here. It's a killer. Let's get it. I told you we are in Zimbabwe, in Mount Pleasant, at Art Farm. It's blazing hot, I'm enjoying my ice cream. This is called Monster Mouse. Monster Mouse. Lovely ice cream from Dairy Boat, Zimbabwe. Cheers, guys. We're enjoying. Wow, this is nice. You love it. Here at Art Farm, I've seen these guys, they do popsicles. What are they? So they like ice cream. The one with strawberry is pineapple, rainbow, blueberry, lemon. And this one is called Oreo. And how much are they? Two dollars, they're all yours. <laughs> do you have one with the vodka? We do alcohol popsicles, so you don't have to. I'm enjoying 
The dairy for ice cream. Cheers, guys. Huh? Good afternoon guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is GK, follow me on GKZM. Today I'm here at Art Farm. I've seen these guys here, they're called... Tangwena Distillery. Tangwena. Tangwena? Tangwena, yes. Tangwena, they do alcohol stuff. Yes. Huh? So what do you call this? We do kachasu. Kachasu. We do... Hey, you guys know kachasu, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We do kachasu, we yeah. do high quality kachasu. Mm -hmm. As he likes to say, uh, he put kachasu to private school mm. and uplifted it. Mm. Um, so we do a 40% kachasu. This is from Masao. Food. Masao? Yes. So you have Masao here fermenting. You know Masao, it's already been fermenting here yes. already, yeah. So first you make a fruit wine, yeah. then from the wine you distill it. Wow. That, wow. That's how you wow. make the clear product. This is clear product, kachasu. Yes. yes. So what's the alcohol content? It's 40%. It's like your gin, like your whiskey, like your vodka, wow, it's the standardized wow, wow. 40%. It gets you high, this thing, huh? Mm -hmm. High, no, <laughs> depends on the quantity that you're consuming. <laughs> right, what else again? Uh, from this so, one you move to? Uh, we do the cure. So we do uh, Resurrection Bush, Mufao mm. Chimuka, and si? Mufao Chimuka, mm. and then we do a Zumbani liqueur. A Zumbani, yeah? Yeah, so here's the Zumbani, with the green notes, because this is obviously Zumbani. Most people know it as tea. You guys, you know Zumbani, yeah? You know, this this herb we hope does in COVID, eh? Yes. Very strong herb. So what? we do uh, a liqueur, which is 30%. 30%? And the liqueur is sweet. So it has added sugar wow. for the ones who enjoy a sweeter beverage. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, do we go to? Then we have the Resurrection Bush. Uh, or... Um, no, did you hear the name? Chimuka. Did you hear the name? Resurrection, Resurrection Bush. There you go. Yeah, yeah. You um, so that's the liqueur too. from there. This is the uh, the bush. As you may have seen when you climb Domboshawa or yes, Matobo, yes, if, it's growing there. If, if, be, if yeah. you've been to Domboshawa or Matopos, mm -hmm. these things are growing there. Yeah. You call them? Uh, Resurrection Bush. Res or Resurrection Mufa bush. Uchimuka. Mufa Uchimuka in Shona. Yes. Resurrection. You only know about the resurrection of Jesus Christ, but now you got the resurrection of <laughs> right resurrection bush. Okay, uh, so so that's a thirty percent liqueur as well. Thirty eh? percent. Yeah. Wow. And so we're doing cocktails today with the kachasu. Wow, wow, guys! If you want kachasu, you want to taste kachasu. You guys, you associate kachasu, you know, with uh, drunken, you know, guys in the bush, yeah. but they are doing it commercial in Zim. Hey, I don't drink. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> so you can't be part of the... <laughs> but you, you can definitely smell it. No, yes. let me smell it. You can smell it. You can smell it and you should be able to smell the resurrection bush. Let, let me smell the resurrection bush. Turn the camera. Now, now you know, I'm testing... What do you call this? Resurrection? Resurrection bush. bush. Very strong brand. Wow. Let me test it. Wow, 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 it tastes good. Huh? I don't drink alcohol, but hey, this tastes good. <laughs> so that's a good compliment. <laughs> Cheers, huh? see you in the next one. So, yeah, guys, we got to see. You know, what do you call this company? Seo Bella Pizza, authentic Italian. Italian. Look at that. Don't you love your pizza? I do. Uh, 15 bucks, it's all yours. Huh? Yeah. And this is the Master Chef. Your name, Craig. sir? Craig. Craig. Craig, huh? yes, sir. please support you. At Master Bella. So we are in the bush here in uh, Arendo. Sorry, in uh, what do you call Art Farm? Huh? I'm here at Art Farm. You know, they do zip lining. If you guys don't know, Art Farm is just across Harare Drive. Near Mount Pleasant, near Borodo, mm -hmm. there is some zip lining going on here, and I'll show you how they're doing it. So, what you guys do? Right. right. So, these are the helmets for safety. Exactly. And these are what? What are these? Um, harness. Harness. Yes. So, this, your safety is guaranteed 100 eh? percent. Exactly. Yeah. And this is 100%. the man. Your name, sir? Willard. Willard, please come and support him. And how much is it? 
the zip line is ten dollars, then climbing wall is five dollars. Wow, right, wow. Yes. So uh, I want to do uh, how much zip line? Zip line ten dollars. Ten dollars. Then wall climb, then it's five dollars. Five dollars. So yeah. they do wall climbing, huh? Yeah. Let's see. This one is wall climb. <laughs> this is what you call wall climbing. Yeah, wall climb without Those stain. guys who are fit, ten dollars. Yeah. So five can dollars. five dollars. Yeah. So can you take me through your I'm going to the stairs going up there to see how zip lining is done. How are you doing? Let's go. So these are the stairs, eh? Wow. We're going up to do zip lining. Wow, wow, wow. You gotta be fit to do this. Still going up. I think we are about four meters, eh? So we're going 10 meters. Wow, we're still going up here at Art Farm. Very interesting place here in Mount Pleasant. Wow, I'm up and whew, and this guy is telling me this 10 meters. Yeah, it's almost 10 meters. 100 meters. 100 meters you go. Wow. Up to there. 100 meters. Guys, we are here at Art Farm. There's an farmer's market here see all these tents it's all happening here in Mount Pleasant mm. this is nice they must come and support you yeah 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 you are zip lining okay. you said how much ten dollars climbing with five dollars wow ah Okay, so this is 10 meters, we go 10 meters up in the bush. It's like we are in the bush here. Welcome to the farmer's market here at Art Farm. It's like we are in the bush. The bush set up. Some zip line rules here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always wear a helmet. No loose hanging cloth. Eh? Yeah, Climbing all rules again. Always climb wear a harness yeah. or a helmet. Right there on top of the moon We could sit and do nothing I wish we were bold To just fly away I don't wanna care It's being I'm good alone I'll be okay, miss you like an old friend This is what calls Zizi, Zizi in Shona. Oh, the big Zizi. Wow, 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 what do you call this? Human nest. Ah, yeah, the human nest. Here, the human nest, it was handcrafted. Are you, are you the one who designed it? Wow, wow, this is what you call human nest. Eh? You know what a nest? Do you know what is a nest? A nest, uh, we call it in Shona Dendere. And uh, we in here in the Dendere, in the human nest, handcrafted. Are you the designer? So this is the guy who designed this uh, human nest. Wow. You are talented, eh, my brother. Thank you very much. And if I want you to design a human nest at my place, at my house, how much do you charge me? So four hundred dollars, it will be mine. Eh? And how long does it take you to do that? Uh, it's about a month. A month, you'll be done. Yeah. Wow. A nest. You guys, you know what a nest? A nest is called dendere. And then in Shona, you know, uh, we share it. You know, dendere. Is that right? All, all, all the best. They do that. Eh? Yeah. They nest. Yeah. Cheers, guys. See you in the next.
So this is what we call a nest, Dendere. And this is the director of the project, <laughs> the engineer, <laughs> the par excellent engineer. So this is how he crafted it, the nest. Eh? That's, that's what we call Dendere in Shona. So it's like a hut, eh? Yeah. The front. Yeah. Look at this nest. Handcrafted. Here at uh, Art Farm, and uh, I've been fascinated by this structure here. It's called a nest, and it's handcrafted by this guy here. Your name, sir? Josada. So uh, what products do you use to... Uh, do this nest. It's a lantana camara. Come, come, my brother. Yeah. So, so you use uh, what you call lantana camara. Camara, which is invasive. So which is invasive. 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 Yeah. Okay, where do you get this? In many places where people they, they don't want this. They, they threat to animals. Oh, I've just seen a snake here. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This is hand, this is handcrafted, huh? Eh? Yeah. Wow. Uh, and how much is this piece of art? $400. 400 dollars. Where are you guys situated? Where do we get you? In Dombo Shower. So what I'm gonna do guys, I'll put his link, his phone number in front of this camera or on this link. And then if you want to contact him, you can come and do this nest at your house or at your restaurant. It's like a hut. Wow, this is a nest, handcrafted by that guy there. And he does mazizi as well. This is what you call an owl in Shona, zizi. Just coming out of uh, the art farm, uh, at farmer's market, very interesting products, she's being showcased here in Zimbabwe, it's been a lovely day, it's a Sunday in Zimbabwe, it's blazing, blazing hot, I think the temperature is about 37 degrees and it's a bit humid and windy, probably it's gonna rain, we don't know, but Guys, subscribe to my channel, GKZ, road to 1,000 subscribers, 10,000 subscribers. See you in the next. Cheers. Right, just coming out of the farmer's market at Art Farm in Mount Pleasant, along Arari Drive, uh, near Mount Pleasant. We've got solar energy projects. They do solar. They've done a big project at Gateway High School, where my daughter used to attend school. It's a 100 kilowatt project that they did. And the school is happy, they've got power for good. They can actually go off grid and uh, be independent in terms of power. And they save money on, uh, on uh, electricity bills. And as you know, electricity is now ex erratic here in Zem. So if you want big projects at your factory, contact Solar Energy. These are the guys. Yeah, zero one zero seven one nine two two eight zero four seven sales at sep .co .zw. The power of experience. Wow, this is nice. Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today it's a Sunday in Zimbabwe. I was here at the art farm. It was farmers market, and it was an interesting showcase. And can you believe it? I'm here in art farm and the setup is like a bush you see all these eucalyptus trees there are thousands of them here and uh, you know the benefit of these trees they helped us in covid i remember a lot of guys they used to buy these they used to go in the bush and get these eucalyptus leaves and also they make eucalyptus oil and it helps during covid 
It helped quite a lot of people, and there are thousands of them here. Thousands and thousands of them here. Wow, it's like I'm in the bush, but I'm here at Art Farm. And these are all the trees. We call it Magam trees. And they produce these leaves called eucalyptus leaves. And they help, you know, with the uh, flu. But during COVID, a lot of people were using this. And they produce eucalyptus oil as well. And if you plant these trees here, yeah, I'm told, you know, they cost a lot of money. In Kenya, they're doing quite a lot of business with these trees. That's a lot of money here. Yeah. yeah, at farm. So we're coming out of the farmer's market. A lot of companies were marketing here, their products. It was an interesting, interesting uh, eye-opener market. So now we're going home. It's a beautiful Sunday here in Zimbabwe. Just came out from church and then we're going home now. And this is the art farm along Harare Drive. So now we are getting out of art farm and we're getting into Harare Drive. And uh, we negotiating traffic here. And uh, that's Mount Pleasant. It's a danger area. So we need to get into a ride right drive just now from Adfa. Alright. So we're in. And a lot of traffic here. And lots and lots of traffic. This is Harare Drive, and that's Art Farm over there. 